Turkey's military has been hitting targets in Syria after a Syrian mortar shell killed five people in a border village. Turkey has referred Syria's action to the UN Security Council and is asking for NATO support. Turkish legislators are meeting right now to discuss whether to approve cross-border raids. Meanwhile, the army has been bombarding the Syrian border town of Tel Abyad. It's believed a shell fired from inside hit a house across the border in Akchakale, killing a Turkish woman and her children. Anita McNaught is in Akchakale in Turkey for us. What's the situation there now, Anita? Well, police are going door to door, Sami, and the houses that are closest to this Syria-Turkey border area and asking the families now to leave. A bit like shutting the barn door, you might say. Certainly that's what the families feel and that's why they were here outside the governor's office last night protesting at the government representative. They feel the government hadn't done nearly enough to prevent them from just such an incident which they were concerned about. Uh, they feel the government uh, has been, uh, on the one hand, some of them needlessly provoking the situation and on the other hand, not being tough enough in defense of the Turkish people. It's turned into a, a domestic political problem. It's becoming more so every week, which is exactly what the Turkish government was afraid of. And now we have the debates going on in Parliament as well. Here's uh, the background to, to events uh, of the last few hours. Nightfall, hours after the attack and the sound of Turkish artillery firing at unspecified targets across the border in Syria. Earlier, the Syrian government had said it respected Turkish sovereignty and would launch an investigation into what had happened. The authorities are investigating the fire source that led to the deaths of the mother and her children near the Syrian-Turkish border. He also urged restraint. In the case of border incidents, countries should be wise and responsible, especially in the case of the existence of terrorist groups on the border. But the deaths of five Turkish civilians Wednesday in the most serious incident since a Turkish Air Force jet was shot down in June saw Ankara's patience expire. There has been an attack on Turkey's mainland and its citizens lost their lives. There is definitely a response to that in international law. Turkey immediately asked the United Nations Security Council to take what it called necessary action to halt Syrian aggression. And NATO states in Brussels met an emergency session on Wednesday under Article 4 of the North Atlantic Treaty. That says any member state, in this case Turkey, can convene such a meeting if it feels its security or independence is threatened. In a statement, the alliance said, it continues to stand by Turkey and demands the immediate cessation of such aggressive acts against an ally and urges the Syrian regime to put an end to flagrant violations of international law. The Americans too were quick to issue a condemnation but also urged caution. We are outraged that the uh, Syrians uh, have been uh, shooting uh, across the border. We are uh, very uh, regretful about the loss of life that has occurred on the Turkish side. Uh, we are uh, working with our Turkish friends. I will be speaking with the foreign minister uh, later uh, to discuss uh, what uh, the best way forward would be. The Turkish parliament will be asked Thursday to approve future cross-border raids by Turkish forces into Syria in much the same way that the Turkish military has conducted operations against Kurdish forces in northern Iraq. In the present climate, it's a request that is likely to be granted.